Hello there. It's so nice to meet you. This is Shirako ZX TV. Wait, stop. No, it's too formal right there. Anyways, let's get this game started, shall we? Welcome to the world of Pokemon. <clears throat> Who the heck? Huh. Hello. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before I go any further, is this your first adventure? If you need advice, I'm certainly capable of it. Eh, no info needed. The reason why I'm starting Diamond is... Is that... Well, I'm busy, but... I'm busy right now because someone's Skyping me. But all I can say is that I'm doing it because Pokemon... Pokemon... Nah. Pokemon Ruby and... Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire are on a hiatus until my partner gets back, so yeah, that's the reason why. Otherwise, otherwise, I'm gonna start doing this next play. Alright. Are you a boy or a girl? Mm, let this music sink in until I finish Skyping this person. So, yeah. Be right back. Okay, I'm back right now. Alright, let's get this started. Alright, I'm a boy. Indeed I am, so... In all my games, I have to start up with Shirako because that's my channel's name. And nothing else. Tell you the truth, there was something else I forgot and I said in the... In the history of me in the video. Which is that... I tried going on another username, but... It just didn't work out. I'm stuck with this since seven years ago. Oh yeah, speaking of seven years ago, this is when the game came out, right? Man, it sure has been a long time since I played it. I really like this game so much. Like, I play this every day, and I was able to explore and find out some new things like the evolutions, such as learning that before the internet with all these spoilers such as Cerebi and all these release all these release scans of new Pokemon. Before I learned all that stuff, I was just really surprised about, say, as Magmar's evolution or Eevee's evolution. Anyways, <clears throat> despite the exploration team's best efforts, however, the rare, oddly colored Pokemon eluded detection. The rumored red Gyarados failed to appear aiming fleetingly to the Crescent Fallen team. That concludes our special report, Search for the Red Gyarados, brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week, same time, same channel. Alright, welcome to the very first episode of Pokemon Diamond Randomizer. Gen. Lock. Wait for your expression that that's on your expression of the title here and there, but yeah. But anyways, but anyways, let me finish this this guy text, cause cause right now I'm in the middle of recording, so let me finish this real quick. I'm sorry about that if you're wa if you're watching this, but I'm kind of in the middle of skyping this. Okay, now that I finished skyping this guy, so let's begin how this randomizer gen lock works. The meaning of a gen lock is that, like in the previous two nuzlocks, I say that for each Pokemon I encounter, it has to be second gen, third gen. This time, it ain't gonna be like I want four gen Pokemon. This is a randomizer, so it's randomized. So yeah, uh, another friend texting me too. This is not Skype, but it's just a regular friend. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's another gen lock, but there's a twist to it. But I'll explain it once I go out there and catch Pokemon. Do you have class? 
at 11. That's what I'm saying to my friend, even though you don't want to per know about my personal life, but yeah, I'm just gonna, sorry, because this is just a late night notice, and I want to see if he wants to kick it tomorrow before his class starts, which I have work tomorrow, but yeah, this is gonna be uploaded tomorrow morning before I head out, but yeah. But anyways, what the hell did I left out before these guys started texting me? I'm just not sure. Well, yeah, it's a randomizer, so everything's ra randomized, as you see on YouTube. The Pokemon, the trainer's names. So yeah, who knows what's gonna happen. Well, yeah, I'll explain the rules once we get things started. Once we got our Pokemon, Pokeballs here and there. Now that I got, I'm able to upload more than 15 minutes. I get more in-depth explanation. Furthermore, this is recorded through XSplit, so right now I'm trying to see if there's any lagging at all, but yeah, you'll actually get some, some, some reactions this time, unlike recorded reactions, which is just not good. And as you can hear the music, this is Desume Emulator, <clears throat> so yeah, anyways, before I say anything else, Oh hey, Shirako! Hey, I'm going to the lake. You come too, and be quick about it. Okay, Shirako, I'm finding you one million if you're late. Whoops, I pressed that the pause button. <laughs> Oops. I need a new new monitor, seriously. This ain't working right. I still haven't repaired that laptop yet. Oh jeez! Forgot something! Oh yeah, what was I saying? Seriously. I'm sorry about that folks. But yeah, oh yeah, I think about XSplit here and there. So I mean, I'm trying to see if it lags, but I need to get some feedback from me from my reactions. I don't know about how they do it. Maybe they have better better setup, but oh well. I better take my bag and journal too. Oh hey, Shirako! We're going to the lake. I'll be waiting on the road. It's a 10 million fine if you're late. <sighs> no actual voice. No. No voice acting will be needed. It's needed for this guy. He's just hyperactive as always, so. I think I'm gonna get exhausted for talking his voice. Am I right? But yeah, I'll explain everything in detail once we get things started, once we get Pokemon, Pokeballs, and all the information will be in the description box once I put it in. As you can see, it's night time, so it will be up all in the morning, so don't be confused, alright? Hey, you! You saw the news report that was on TV, right? You know, search for the Red Gyarados. The mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon in a lake. That show got me thinking. I'll bet our local lake has a Pokemon like that in it too. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll go find a Pokemon like that. And I'm guessing he's following us, so... To the lake we go. <sighs> I'm high for this because it's randomized. I may not sound like it once I finish recording, but oh well. I'm just doing what I please. I please myself, so I'm having fun, so alright. Alright, to the lake! Let's find us a red Gyarados! What's going on? There isn't anything out of the- Oh wait, wrong voice. I thought it was the professor with the, with the colons, but oh well. Professor, there isn't anything out of the ordinary on the other side. Either. Hmm, there you go, there's the freaking colon points if you call- I think that's the call, but oh well. Hmm, I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but... Fine, it's enough that we have seen the lake. 
Dawn, we're leaving. Professor, how are you enjoying back in Sinnoh? After being away for four years, it must be exciting again. Hmm, there is one thing I can say. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region should serve us very well in regard to our studies. Excuse me, let us pass, please. I beg your pardon, we'll be on our way. What was that about? Those two. Huh? Shiraku, let's go check this out. What's that? Don't go into the tall grass. No problem, no problem. We won't be in there too long enough for a while Pokemon to come out. Not sure if I'm gonna have a background yet, but I'll make one. It'll be basic, so... Anyways, it's a briefcase? Those people forgot it here. What are we supposed to do with it? We could try to deliver it, but who are they? I heard them say, Professor. What? what? Po Pokemon? What's going on? Look, these are Pokeballs. Let's battle using these. Huh? Which one do you want? <sighs> I need a deep breath. His voice is just uh, getting me tired already. Yes, how long have we been in this video already? Seven? Five minutes? Bad Pokemon Zubat with a Turtwig Sprite. The Tiny Mouse Pokemon beats you. <laughs> Leaf Pokemon Chikorita. What the hell? They're all ass. Oh, come on now. Oh my god. We got a Zubat, Pichu, and a Chikorita. Oops! I think I accidentally pressed the button, so... I am guess I'm stuck with a Chikorita. My bad. I guess the Starly isn't randomized, so... Is it? I'm not even sure, but... I can't believe we're stuck with a Chikorita. I was about to go with a Pichu, but never mind. And definitely a type of advantage, disadvantage right there. It's a male too, so so much for calling it Letha from Sword Art Online. Oh well. That's unexpected right there, but oh well. Hopefully the Pokemon are ran the wild Pokemon are randomized, but let's see what happens. If not, this is definitely a fail of a randomizer, and I need to do some editing as well. Ha! Your Pokemon totally rock! But mine was way tougher than yours. There were other people's Pokemon though. But we had to use them. They won't mind, will they? Oh, there's the briefcase. The professor would have been furious if I lost it. Huh? Oh no! Did you? Did you use the Pokemon in here? You did? Oh my gosh! What's the professor going to say? This is not good. I'll take this briefcase for now. Because the briefcase is so important that what inside is only left with one Pokemon. What was that about? I don't know what's going on, Shirako. Let's get out of here. 
My Pokemon got hurt from that battle. If we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might be in trouble. Seriously, his voice is getting tired already. You go ahead. I know we have to go return these Pokemon. They're not ours, but I want to spend just a little more time with this little guy. Let's check Chikorita out. And I can't believe I actually pressed the button. Let's see. Naughty Nature. Forgot what that does. Like spicy food, good endurance. So let's see. Attack, defense, special attack. I don't see anything that's lowered, so. Don't know yet. But oh well. Alright, let's get things started. Hmm. If I encounter a random Pokemon, this better be randomized, so let's check it out. As the game lags. Hey, it's those people. Is that old guy staring at us? Hmm. I heard from Don that you use our Pokemon. Let me see them, please. Hmm, Chikorita and Turtwig. Did he really got a Turtwig? That's straight on ass. I don't think it's fully randomized then. I see. That's how it is. Dawn, I'm going back to my lab. Um, yes. Professor, please wait for me. I think you should visit our lad later. Okay then, see you. What was that about? Uh, what was all that craziness about? I mean, if he was angry, he could have just yelled at us or whatever. And didn't he want their Pokemon back? Shirako, we should go home too. I don't want to go through this part with mom talking, so I'm just going to speed forward through. She's going to give a little, a little life valuable lesson. Plus, I need to rest my voice, because Barry's voice, damn. Too much hype. Hey, we got running shoes. Nice. I think speeds up a bit with these running shoes, or else. Press the B button and dash. I already know, so can I hurry up with this? Explain how this works. Let's see how the running goes. Looks perfect. All right. So the audio lags, but oh well. Let's check things. Okay, let me give you an example. Hopefully I'll kind of random Pokemon right now. How this Genlock works is that the, the basic rules of a Nuzlocke is that I cannot have any Pokemon fainted. In each area, the Pokemon, in each area, I must capture one Pokemon only. And that's it. And that area is locked from within, throughout the game. And then, I'm not sure if I want to use potions or not. But this is randomized, so who knows what's gonna happen, so maybe I'll add it to it. So yeah, this how this genlock is gonna work is that from the rules that says in each area you gotta encounter the first Pokemon, right? Well, for me, I wanna randomize who I want to be in my team, so let's go let's go check to this website first. As you can Hold see, on. we're at randomizer.org. So this is how the gen lock works. For each area, I'll go on to here. I wish I could do a, a webcam for to roll dice, but I'm not that famous yet, so we're going to go through here. So, you got gen 1, gen 2, gen 3, and gen 4. So, we're at route 201. 
We got Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3, and Gen 4. We're at Route 201. So I have to find a, po a certain Pokemon within the area. So if I say, so if I click randomize, say, if it's randomized to Gen 3. So I have to find a randomized Pokemon and it has to be third generation. That's how the lock works. It doesn't matter who I'm encounter, I have to find a Gen 3 Pokemon. That's how it works. Got it? So let's get this started so you can understand what I'm saying. Okay, as you can see here, it was randomized as Gen 4, Gen 2, Gen 1, and Gen 3. So the Pokemon I must encounter is a Gen 4 Gen Generation 4 Pokemon. So let's get back to the game. Alright. Let's see. Hopefully I can find a gen fourth generation. And hopefully it's randomized. What? Oh my gosh, Becky. Look at that Lugia. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why can't it be generation 2? Now I know this thing's randomized. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna get experience from this, but fuck it. Oh my god. Hope you guys are seeing this. Hope you guys are watching this. Wait a minute, doesn't that freaking... What an ass. But yeah, we encounter a Lugia. So yeah, I had to I had to keep finding a certain fourth gen Pokemon. Hello, a Blastoise. God damn, this is just the beginning. I'm finding strong ass Pokemon. I have a freaking Chikorita. God damn. God damn, guys, this is a critical hit too. Bubble. Glad we don't have Pokeballs yet, or else, I gl I'm glad, I would be glad to have one of these guys, but first, have to use the, the, the rules, the randomizer.org. Alright, gain some experience, so, let's go check, let's go to Sanjum Town, because I don't want to waste here, I need Pokeballs to do something. If not, if I, if it takes long, I'll do a, 